Hi guys, welcome, 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 welcome to, where's my, to a new video. I need to go find my Hertz Max because I can't be more than two centimetres away from it at the moment. So yeah, be hobby. Right, sorry about that. Welcome to a new video. Welcome to a Sheen haul. Is it Sheen? Sheen? I never know, I never know how to say it. I feel like everyone says it wrong. But I've basically been collecting some stuff. My last few orders have just kind of combined together because they're smaller orders, not too many clothes, mainly like travel essentials, but I did get a bikini and I think like a couple of outfits. Some of the outfits, I'm not gonna lie, I already packed away in my suitcase for Paris. So I'm just gonna pop a picture on the screen of them on um, so you can get the gist of them ones. Um, but there is one dress I haven't packed, so I will try that on for you. And then the rest of it is pretty much just like accessories for Paris and yeah, just travel essentials. I thought it's still interesting to show you because I love watching hauls like this where it's just like things you didn't know you needed. I feel like that's what Sheen is. So yeah, I'm gonna show you that now and please subscribe and like this video if you do enjoy it. Okay, I'm gonna start with travel essentials. Now this, I didn't end up using for Paris. You'll see all this in the Paris pack with me, by the way. I didn't end up using this because like I said in that video, I do think it's better for more of like a long haul, like long, longer trip basically, because I was only going to Paris for a few days it's not really necessary but it's basically this big pouch and it folds so it zips up and then it folds oh how's it go there you go it folds like that completely flat and you're meant to basically put your underwear in it so if you can see like you stack the bras like flat like upright almost and then you can put your underwear in there and then it's just a way to like keep it all together and keep it nice and compact and i do think this is really good if you've got a big suitcase and you're going for long a longer trip because yeah where i was going for paris we only had a little suitcase and only for a few days so i didn't actually even need that much underwear although i do end up overpacking underwear comment down below how many how many knickers you would bring for a four day trip because so far i'm up to like seven or eight and yeah i feel like that's normal right how many got how many would you say you would bring um but yeah this is really useful and actually a really really great idea for traveling another travel essential is packing cubes now packing for paris is my first time using packing cubes i did film a pack with me so it should be out i think if not this video no i think two videos time is when it should be out um but yeah i use that and that's why there's only small ones left because i've used all the big ones for that but i ordered these from sheen and let me check the price for you actually where's my phone because i think they were really really cheap and you got a variety of sizes i'll show you all the sizes it came with in a minute but let me quickly check the prices um i can't even find that oh, it was a split parcel why do they always do that no it wasn't when did i get them then Oh, here we go yeah um so i paid two pounds 73 and it came with six like all different sizes i'll show you the sizes now um but yeah that was a really really great price so obviously like i said there was a massive one um but there's like some really small ones there's like these little secret pouches so one of these actually this probably this size one would be really useful to use as like a bikini bag if you're going on like a beach holiday to kind of keep in your beach bag so you don't end up getting like um everything else in your bag wet um there was a massive one and then there is this is like the next size down from the big pack and cube that i used in my pack with me but honestly like you can fit so much in these i never really understood it before until i used pack and cubes and they are really really great like i definitely would recommend them especially if you haven't got like loads and loads of space like i said for paris i've literally just got a little suitcase so i didn't have loads of space so they definitely helped and i would definitely recommend getting them i also picked up this little pouch i probably use this more for america in september i think it's meant to be like a sort of technical technological um purse but i think i might even use this for like pads and stuff as you can see there is like quite a lot of space in there i think it was meant to have like all your wires in which i might use it for but i do have this from primark which is a well it's the same thing but a lot better this is for like your tech sort of stuff so i might use that blue pouch for literally like sanitary towels and stuff like that um or just like as a first aid kit or something like that but i think it was literally like one pound or something silly like that it was really really cheap so yeah they have loads of like essential like travel bits things that just can make your life a lot easier when traveling sheen is the place to go for that similarly with traveling i also picked up this it's just like a clear 
case to put all your toiletries in to save putting them in a sandwich bag. I, I hope that I'm going to get away with that. As you can see, it's got all of my toiletries in already. So yeah, I don't know if they're going to think that's too big or not. Do you guys think I'll get away with that? Because I'm thinking the sandwich bags, they might not be as like wide as it, but they're definitely as tall, if not taller. So yeah, I'm thinking I might get away with that. Hopefully I will. But yeah, it's just like to have a bit of a sturdier case rather than literally a sandwich bag. So yeah, that was, let me check the price of that. But again, it was probably like one pound. So yeah, it was one pound 20. So can't complain. Also the underwear storage was three pound 58. These are really random prices, but it's because with Sheen, you can obviously add your vouchers at the end and make it even cheaper. Um, I also got this phone case. Um, with like a charm bracelet dangling down. It's like the evil eye thing. That was £1.72. Sheen is the only place that I can get phone cases from because I don't have like an iPhone. I have a Samsung Galaxy A52, I think. So like not really a very popular phone. So Sheen is the only place I can get phone cases from. So yeah, if you have a bit of a less popular phone, then I would definitely recommend Sheen. Another little random purchase, but again, really good for traveling. I feel like this is all just travel hacks. Um, it's these reusable like pads, I guess you call them, to take your makeup off. So they came with quite a few actually, and then they come in this little pouch. I think this is one of those pouches that you like put them in and then you put them in the washing machine, still in the pouch. Um, but yeah, for traveling, they are really, really good. I forgot to pack them actually. I need to make sure I pack these for Paris because they're so much better for your skin than wipes and obviously better for the environment as well. Right, on to a bikini, which I bought a while ago when I thought I was gonna be going on a beach holiday this year. Sorry, I know I keep touching my hair because it's just, I washed it last night and it's literally like a bird's nest. But yeah, I bought this when I thought I was going on a beach holiday and I don't think I am. Well, I am going to America, but so I might bring it, you never know. But I feel like because it's Disney, I end up wearing like, more like swimming costumes or just more like family suitable bikinis and a lot of these ones are thong ones yeah this one's probably not that suitable but is this bikini i don't know how well you can see the print but it's basically like loads of bananas um which is a bit random but i quite liked it i thought it was funky and then the top has got like a um i'll show you and you'll see what i mean so it's just a triangle but it's got like a tie up detail of like almost like i think it will act like a belly chain oh yeah it literally comes apart i think it basically acts as the belly chain and it's the same print as well with just the bananas i just thought that was pretty funky i can't remember how much i paid for that i think probably less than a fiver i'm not gonna lie um but yeah just thought that was a cute one to add to my bikini collection which is just overflowing at this point i then also picked up this makeup bag which again perfect for traveling i don't know if you can see but it has a section at the top let me unzip it for like well obviously you can put whatever you want in it but i put like my makeup brushes and sponges again it's already packed for paris i literally go in like four days five days so it's already all packed i just need to wash my brushes actually i need to remember to do that and then it has a second section at the bottom where i've just put all my makeups and the good thing about this i don't know if you can see but i've managed to fit a whole eyeshadow palette at the bottom of that so yeah i'm really impressed by that and you can actually fit a lot of makeup in that so yeah definitely a good buy let me try and find out how much that was as well because that's a really great idea here it is um i actually ordered this a long time ago when i was ordering my sister stuff for a baby shower <laughs> um i paid two pound 81 for that again a random price but it's because of all the vouchers that come off on the end um yeah so good like honestly you can get so many things you just didn't know you needed on sheen it's so good but yeah i would definitely recommend this and it goes also quite compact as well like if you don't overfill it you can compact it quite well for a suitcase so yeah i don't know if you can see that but it's just got these little like daisies on um and it's also kind of like see through a little bit so you can kind of see what you've got in it as well which is always useful okay so if you've shopped on sheen before you know that sometimes they give you like free gifts and you get to select one this is my free gift i'm not gonna lie i didn't realize it was a small it looked a lot bigger in the picture but it's actually kind of useful having it in a box. So I don't know how well you can see that. We'll take it out. But it's a Sheen travel kit. And it's just got like the travel bottles in. Um, I do need another spray bottle to put my setting spray in. But I'm not sure if this is going to be big enough looking at it now. Let me take this off actually. Ah. Um, yeah. I mean it's not too bad because like I said this was literally free. There was loads of things. There was like a hairbrush. I think there was even like a makeup bag. But because I actually needed another spray bottle. I was like oh perfect. I'll just thank you for that thank you for falling off i'll just get that and yeah <laughs> i mean it is all three um spray bottles that's what i was trying to say so maybe i could just spray like put my setting spray in like two of them um yeah 
actually that is kind of useful i might do that just fill two of them up with setting spray that probably will be enough for a four day trip i'm just thinking because because we're gonna go all out we're literally probably gonna do makeup during the day and then probably go back and then also do makeup in the evening so i would need like a lot of setting spray but that might actually be okay to be fair I fill up two of them with setting spray but yeah for a free gift you can't really complain too much okay on to an accessory for paris which uh let's be real i'm never gonna wear again after paris but you can probably guess what it is um but i feel like it's just because one of my outfits this would look so good with um but yeah i would never wear them again i'm not even gonna take them out of the cardboard because i'm just gonna pack them like that but they are gloves if you haven't realized they're just like fashion gloves i feel like yeah it's gonna look very like parisian with one of my dresses for the evening by the eiffel tower so i just had to do it and I will find out the price, but I'm pretty sure it was literally like, oh God, it wasn't much. I wouldn't have paid much for it. It was £1.89. So yeah, I thought for a picture, I can justify it. I also, there's also a couple of, like I said, there's a couple of things I bought that I have packed already. So I will have to just pop pictures of that on the screen. Um, but they were all really well priced as well. Like literally everything. I'll try and pop the price on with the picture as well. Um, but yeah got some gloves <laughs> this next item i actually got for dan because i have the actual uniqlo one and if you don't know about these bags then you just need to get to know but this is tiktok's version of it and to be honest it looks like it's pretty much the same thing but they are these bags and they just fit so much stuff in so you've probably seen them because tiktok shop also do them but it just fits like a ridiculous amount in like you actually wouldn't believe it i literally saw a video I saw a TikTok of a girl literally pull out a whole tin of Pringles and um, I think I did a TikTok video myself of like all the things I managed to fit in there and like you can fit like a book, you can fit snacks, you can fit drinks. I had like a whole like stationery set in there, like you can honestly fit so much in there. So I picked up down one for Disney because then we can both have one and fit more in, like we can fit a drink in and yeah then it's just not on me to hold everything but also who's gonna come in then but also where we went to disney last year dan had to carry a backpack around and it just wasn't great because we had to keep checking it into the lockers for the rides and it was a bit annoying when it got wet on the rides and yeah everything like that it was just a bit annoying so i thought if we, i get him one like this this time then it would be a bit easier so yeah i got that and let me find the price again i think this was actually on offer on the day so it might be a little bit more yeah that was only two pounds 72 which is crazy because the Uniqlo ones are £15. I mean, obviously the Uniqlo ones are going to be better quality. But even the TikTok shop ones are like £10. So if you do just literally want a cheap knockoff one, then Sheena's a really good place to go for that. Okay, on to the clothing. This is actually the first piece of clothing I've bought from Sheen that actually has come with a tag on. Like, I always see people do hauls and it's got tags on. And I'm like, I've never ever ordered something from Sheen and it turned out with a tag. But this actually did, which is really just weird. Does anyone else think that? Like, when they order stuff, it just never has tags on. But actually has a tag on. But it's just this little green sort of tea dress kind of. But it's kind of like double layered. So it kind of looks like it's going to be mesh on the outside but it's actually double layered so it's not see-through i will try it on so you can see um it, i've already tried it on it fits quite nicely actually i got it in a size large um i usually tend to go for larges in sheen just because it's not always the best sizing and i just feel safer sizing up it's like zara you kind of end up having to size up but yeah this was really cute let me find the price for you but i don't think it was much money um i originally bought it for disney but because it's double layered i think i might actually get too warm in it so i might just keep it for like the summer here um that was only £5.44, so yeah, really cute. And obviously, if you do want links for any of these items, just comment down below and I will send you, well, I'll reply to your comment with the link um, because that's just easier than linking everything if no one even cares. So yeah, definitely let me know if you do want the link for it and I will give it to you. Okay, I don't know how well you can see me. I don't have the best setup for doing hauls, but this is the green dress on. It's just pretty basic, like it's what you would expect from a £5 dress. But yeah, it's not see for at all, which obviously is a win and yeah it fits really nicely and it's a really nice color now i ordered something that i've never ordered before but sheen basically have like a gym wear brand called glow mode and people say it's like a dupe of oh my god what is that oh my god i can't think what the brand is but it's like a really expensive gym wear brand and apparently this is like a knockoff for it like it feels the exact same and it actually comes in a separate packaging as well like i said it's called glow mode it's a little bit more pricey um but look it literally comes like so much better packaged um but i picked up this for florida i was watching a haul 
of a girl the other day and she had them and i just thought that's such a good idea for florida because it's basically like active wear but this is a skirt, so it kind of looks like a tennis skirt um and yeah it just looked really flattering on her it does look a bit small but i'm guessing it obviously is quite stretchy i got in a size large yeah it is really really stretchy but oh my god i probably should have got an extra large i really don't like things like really tight on me it just yeah it just makes me feel funny so i'm gonna try that on but that might have to go back but you can just see the quality is like so much better than sheen's usual stuff and why is the door keep opening <laughs> and um it comes with a tag as well so yeah that is the range it's called glow mode um like i said i'll try this on because i really hope it fits because i feel like it would be perfect for disney but realistically it's probably not going to fit or it might fit but it won't fit comfortably i literally hate things like tight on my stomach so i might size up in this just because also it's going to be like so hot i just don't want anything sticking to me which is also why i'm kind of like why did i actually get black because probably not gonna be the best color for it but i also got something similar in white which i'll show you um but yeah it looks so good it looks so good on the haul that i watched but i just don't know if it'll look great on me okay so this is the black glow mode skirt on and as you can see it does fit me i don't know whether to size up or not because it does fit me and to be fair it's not actually that uncomfortable but it's just a little bit tight but i don't know and as you can see like it goes up at the size which like elongates your legs which i really like i've just paired it with just a random top and then it's like longer at the back and the front, which is what you want out of a skirt to be fair. Um, it's a really nice material. Like it actually, yeah, it actually is quite comfortable. I'm just worried if like on a day where I'm like really bloated, if I would like regret that I didn't get this next size up. And it also has, I don't know how well you can see, but it has like cycling shorts underneath. So for Florida where you get a lot of chafing, it's actually really good. But yeah, I think I might size up because I'd rather just have like a little bit of extra room just in case I am really bloated on certain days which probably will be in florida because all the florida food i will be eating it so i think i might need a bit more room for that okay so this is the tennis skirt i think um again i'm pretty sure it's a score yeah see this looks a lot more stretchier i think when it sounds really bad but when things are like cheaper quality i actually prefer it because it's not as like tight and like tight fitting do you know what i mean um this is also yeah this is also short but it's just literally like a classic tennis skirt um i thought this would be really really good for florida but also me and my bestie are playing tennis like we have like tennis days now where every thursday after work we go and play tennis and it's really random but we love it so i also thought to be fair i could wear it for that as well if it fits but like i said like things like these kind of waistbands i really don't like like oh my god the thought of that around my stomach i mentioned it in a haul i can't remember when it was but like since having endometriosis surgery like i'm very conscious of things being tight around my stomach it literally makes me feel like it's like nails on a chalkboard for me like i really just don't like things fitted i much prefer to wear baggy clothing but i would like to get out of that because i don't know like it's not very it's not always flattering wearing baggy clothing but yeah i don't know we'll see how it fits if it's really too comfortable then i'm just gonna return it because like i said it's gonna be for a walking holiday like disney's a very active holiday so if i'm not comfortable then i just won't be enjoying myself so yeah I'm gonna be brutally honest and see how it fits this is the tennis skirt and look like this actually fits fine because like i actually got a bit of room still and yeah it's just everything i thought it would be it's again got cycling shorts underneath so good for chafing um and it's actually kind of cute as well like i feel like you could wear some really cute colored crop tops with this and yeah it just look really nice so yeah i think this is actually gonna be kept okay this is the last piece of clothing and this is the bit that i was most excited for i've opened the bag though and it says lones which i'm not sure what that is i don't know if that's like a different range on sheen but i do not remember seeing that in fact let me have a look oh i forgot to tell you the prices for the skorts let me do that now actually um because yeah i would want to know if it was me because obviously like i said the glow mode ones are a little bit more pricier um but with a discount it was 12 pound 93 for the black glow mode one and eight pound 72 for the white score which i'm just gonna look now if you can actually get um in an extra large because i oh yeah you can it goes up to an 18 actually so i might go for the extra large um in the black skirt let me check the white one got a feeling yeah they don't go up any higher so we'll see let me show you the glow mode ones actually because they have so many different colors like i don't know how well you can see that oh she wants to focus on me all the time but i think you can yeah i think you can see it um it goes like up at the side as well which i think i love how you can just see my eye <laughs> um but they literally have so many colors look at that green one oh 
how cool is that like i was so tempted to get the pink as well but i had to restrain myself but yeah they're definitely it says built-in shorts double layer tennis dancing daily wear like yeah definitely would recommend them um based on like the quality alone um but like i said i will see how they fit me okay back to what i was actually trying to show you so this is actually a co-ord and i bought it with paris in mind for like during the day so i really hope this fits but again it's got one of them like although this one is surprisingly stretchy it's got a waist but actually is that really see-through oh uh, yeah it's quite see-through isn't it i'd have to see what it's like with white underwear on but it's these shorts which have got a bit of a frill design at the bottom and then it's this top and the top is what made me like fall in love with it and order it so this is the top and in the picture they kind of just like tucked in the top to the bottom so it kind of looked like a bit like a play suit um i will show you it on but yeah i just thought that looked like really elegant and like a really simple outfit but it would look really put together and nice for just walking around paris during the day so i really hope this fits because i mean i don't need more outfits for paris i have managed to find enough in my wardrobe but you know when you like go on holiday and you kind of just want to like shove as many extras in as you can so that you can decide when you get there that's what i'm like if there's space in my suitcase i'm like it's going in in because why would i not i've also got a dress from zara coming well it's meant to be coming i accidentally because i hadn't ordered from zara for so long it had my old address i moved house nearly a year ago now but it had my old address in there and i didn't even think about it like i just pressed pay and i was like oh it didn't even ask me for my delivery address like it didn't even occur to me that it hadn't asked me and then i got an email saying like oh we tried to deliver it and i was like no you didn't i was literally home all day and i looked and it's my old address which obviously we sold that house like there's new people living there and i tried to contact zara and they're like no we can't do anything about it so yeah i'm really annoyed about that because it's probably not going to come before paris and i don't really want to repurchase it i don't know just in case i might go to town on friday to get like the little bits i need like boring little things i need for paris still and i might have a look in the zara sale and if there's one there in my size then it's fate and it's meant to be and i'll get it but if not i just think i've just got to like get it out of my head but it's literally this gorgeous dress i just can't stop thinking about it but i'm hoping the white outfit you just saw fits me so that i can at least have like a couple of spares in my suitcase okay and then finally this is the co-ord on i actually love it this is how the model had it on where they tucked it in a little bit i love it so much it is a little bit see-through at the back but i do think if you wear the right knickers then it'll probably be okay but yeah i actually really love it like i said i feel like it's just a really simple outfit but it looks really put together and it's kind of giving like wedding no it's not giving wedding guest is it let's be real it's probably not nice enough but it's giving gossip girl white party season two episode one do you know what i mean <laughs> but yeah i do really like this and i think i'm gonna pack this for paris but yeah that is everything i picked up from sheen the last couple of times i've done an order and yeah i really hope you do enjoy it let me do, let me know down in the comments what you liked and what you didn't like or like i said if you want any links to anything then i'll give them to you and yeah i'll try and find them for you um but yeah thank you so much for watching and definitely stay tuned for the paris content i've got a prep with me for holiday i've got a pack with me for paris and then obviously paris vlogs and then after that it will be more like disney content and florida so yeah definitely stay tuned and subscribe if that's what you want to see but yeah thank you so much for watching and hopefully i will see you in my next video bye